Oh, hello there. Timothy here with Way of the Rope, and I'm just looking at your form. Ah, so we have Helen L here. I'm going to take your feedback. I would you like head over foot before she's even begun? Matador. Nice, okay. We'll start with that. Her matador hands are very low. So right off the bat with Helen, she's doing the matadors, but her wrists are quite close together. She's got the opposite hand lead going on. But what we want to try and do is really try to separate these as much as possible. The reason it's called matador is obviously the red ball in the cape and this forehand out there comes across and this hand stays there until the last second. So what we want to do is imagine you can take your thumb, is imagine it's a big sword and you're putting it in, you're sheathing the sword in your opposite pocket. So my left thumb in the pocket, right thumb in the pocket. While the other hand stays at the hip. So my left hand will stay on this around this hip and my, I'll sheath the sword here. And then this hand can catch up, go up and then down. So we want to have this big gap between the hands that allows us to wind up and fire. And then you want to flick the wrist as you come down. You want to flick the wrist and wind it up so that the rope momentum carries on up. So it's not just it's down at the floor. I see a lot of people do that. It's down at the floor. It's down, flick up. So wrist down, flick up. So it goes across cross flick. So, hopefully that helps with the matador, Helen. Home run. She got the timing a little late on that one, but I think with the first one she got it. Here we go, home run, boom, yeah, nice. She got the home run timing good. Yeah, nice wiggle. Good, Helen. That's it, we'll leave with the matador tip for today. Submit your videos through the Weather Rope app if you wanna get reviewed, and look forward to seeing you in the group.